dry, which is good yeah. news. And if you can get outside, take advantage of it because today, uh, tomorrow rather, looks rather unsettled. Mm. Let's take a look at what's happening now. Our look at the sky over Providence. We have some clouds passing on through. At times, we'll have more clouds in the way of sun, but there'll be quite a bit of sun through the afternoon hours. Live radar, no rain in our area. So where are these showers and thunderstorms? They're out here across western New York State. They're going to be traveling all the way across New York State and into southern New England and kind of knocking on the door of uh, Rhode Island uh, probably around midnight tonight. Threat tracker for today, uh, generally pretty quiet, but tonight and for Friday, we've got a round of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be very humid, and some of these storms could be quite strong with some very heavy rainfall. And with all the rain that we've had for the past couple of weeks, it won't take much to create some flooding. Where exactly that'll happen, it's impossible to say at this point in time, but the possibility is there for at least some street flooding tomorrow morning. Let's get a look at the temperatures right now. Yeah, it's pretty warm and humid. 83 in Providence, 89 Taunton, a little cooler along the coastline, low 80s in Newport and over into Westerly. And the dew points remain very high. 74 degree dew point in Providence, although a little bit more comfortable in Smithfield. But it is pretty muggy across all of southern New England right now. And the muggy meter continues to show low 70s as far as the dew point goes. You get it, the uh, dew points in this level, we consider that to be very humid and we're almost bordering on oppressive right now with some dew points at 74. Satellite radar picture, a little stripe of clouds gonna be coming on through through the afternoon, but they're kind of thin and we'll be seeing quite a bit of sun. There's that uh, area of showers and thunderstorms. There's actually a couple of them out here that are beginning to develop. We'll be seeing them push into Southern New England and they're associated with this cold front that'll be advancing south and east over the next uh, oh, 12 to 18 hours or so. So let's track it all with the hour by hour forecast. We'll have some patches of clouds coming on through through the afternoon hours this evening. No problems at all. Any outdoor activities, it's a go. But uh, late in the uh, evening and Closer to midnight, we've got these showers and thunderstorms coming on through. And then tomorrow morning, looking at these showers and thunder uh, during the uh, morning until about midday. And then I'm thinking we'll begin to see some improvements in the afternoon hours of your uh, Friday. So the best chance for showers and thunder, I'm thinking in the morning until around noon. Rainfall forecast, don't take this to be uh, verbatim, but... And we're generally expecting anywhere between a half inch to perhaps in some isolated areas, two and a half inches of rain. Won't take much to create some flooding tomorrow. So for today, we'll be in the upper 80s. It'll be quite humid, partly to mostly sunny. Then for tonight, again, the evening's dry. Showers, thunderstorms expected uh, close to midnight and points thereafter. Seven day forecast, showers, thunder tomorrow, especially in the morning, maybe a couple more in the afternoon, but most of it's in the morning. Spot shower Saturday, showers, thunderstorms, uh, kind of scattered on Sunday afternoon, not a washout. WPRI.com, that's where you can go for your updated forecast anytime, day or night, but very summery feel for the rest of today. Absolutely, we love it. All right, and stories we're working on coming up all new tonight on 12 News. Pushback.